T-Mill. Come out and play. Play it. Laugh. Changing the status quo one voice at a time through music, edutainment, children, and awareness. We're progressing and preserving the culture through real conversations with people who've had real success. Multicultural artists and musicians, models, entrepreneurs, innovators, and activists. This is Paradox East, and you are in tune with Team Mill. Powered by the MainlineConservatory.org. Thank you for listening to In Tune with T-Mill. Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Ronald Miller. I'm sitting here with T-Mill at the Maitland Conservatory. We here just talking about the the event that we're having on July 7th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., uh, which is to be helping the homeless veterans within the community, which is a day of pampering, where they be getting free barbering, free uh, to getting their hair done, manicure, pedicure, as well as free food. Again, that's July 7th, 8 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Fellowship of Faith Church. Look forward to seeing you there. All right. Welcome, everyone, to another edition of In Tune with T-Mill. I'm your host, T-Mill, live from the Rocket City. You will now be encouraged and entertained. Nothing will change until you change something. We are here to change the status quo one more time. Shout out to everybody watching on Facebook Live. We are here in studio with a very special guest uh, from a very good friend of mine, Miss Angela, a.k.a. some of you guys know her as Asian Zing, uh, one of the most premier, professional, uh, talented, passionate art about her art, uh, barbering and, and, and grooming artists here in the Rocket City. So I want to thank her uh, for, for setting this up and quarterbacking this play. Uh, for something that's very important. So we're talking about, I have a, my guest today, we're talking about the our veterans. And again, there's so much going on in the country with, with, of course, elections, politics, and all that. But again, this man talking with him, you know, he reminded me that we don't need just one holiday. We don't need just one day throughout the year or seasons to remember people that have fought and died for us to be here and for our rights. And these holidays are cool, but after the holidays, some of these people have to go back home to pain or to trauma or um, and some of them don't have a place to go. And so we often you know, we don't talk enough about homelessness and we don't talk enough about our veterans. I feel like we talk about Trump more than we talk about anything else. So there's a lot more things going on in the world that we could be talking about that we should be talking about. And today my guest is Ronald Miller talking about. The unconditional love for veterans. How you doing, bro? Hey, I'm doing great. How you doing, man? Blessed, highly favored, better than oh, yeah. I deserve. Um, and I, I'm, I'm glad that we're having this conversation. Oh yeah. And that Angie brought us here to have this conversation oh, yeah. because for me, it's a, it's a check in a sense. You know, it's like, yo, man, what are you doing? You know, with, 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 you know, showing love or uh, things that you could be doing for your veterans or things yeah. that you could be doing for the people that have fought. And die for you to be here today. Yeah. And so for me at least, and for you know, hopefully somebody else that this is a check. But I want to talk about this event that you have coming up and about the company uh that you're running for our veterans. Okay. So before we get into the event, let's talk about the homeless for veterans and your company that you're doing. Got it. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you. Thank you, T Mills, for just giving me the opportunity to stand before you and to talk about this event, talk about my company and uh have some type of change that we want to affect with the veterans within our local community. Uh, I am retired Air Force. Again, when I retired from the Air Force, I started working for the VA as a just as a raider, helping veterans with their disability ratings, so I'm reviewing that. Uh, I saw the need was far more than just uh, reviewing the paperwork because veterans didn't understand the process. So I started my company, Vet for Vets, to help veterans with the process uh, to get through the disability rating. And in doing that, I saw an even greater need. The greater need was not just those veterans that can go home and file their paperwork or go back to work, but those veterans who weren't getting their help at all or enough help, which is those homeless veterans. So I, I wanted to do this event uh, called Unconditional Love for Our Veterans 
was to show them some type of love and support uh, at least more than once, once or twice a year. Yeah. So unconditional love is just about a day of pampering for our veterans, for our homeless veterans. It's about us. Uh, giving them free barbering, beauticians come out doing the females' hair, them getting manicures and pedicures, um, as well as them being fed for free. And uh, I want this to be a routine thing that I'm doing because I just don't want it to happen now and forget about them later because they gave first in order for me to give back to them now. So as long as as long as that giving continues to be done, then there could be some type of change affected within our community when it deals with homeless veterans. I see all the time a lot of veterans standing on the corner asking for money, asking, you know, they may meet you at a restaurant actually asking for something to eat. And I see cars pass them by. I see cars pass them by when they ask for change and not even look at them. And that right there, take for instance a Vietnam vet or any veteran that went to war who has to stand on the corner and ask for change now and get passed by not not knowing what they want through at war for you, for us. Yeah. And so I, I refuse to ever pass a veteran up knowing what they've done for me. I refuse to ever not give them something knowing what they've done for me. And I refuse not even doing this event not know, knowing what they've done for me. So I'm going to do everything I can in order to ensure that they have something to look forward to or, or hold on to, um, even if it's only once a month. And it's good that, for one... You know, it's good that this is happening and people are coming together and you're you're giving them this uh, this day of recognition, um, this day of just simple care, just, you know, just normal human care. You know, things that we may take for granted that can mean the world to someone. And I know, at least for me, I'm guilty of just driving by someone looking for change or you know, the, the, the brother at the corner store or woman, and I've been guilty of that. But in thinking about, okay, how much could this really mean to this person? You know, and, you know, taking it back to Kendrick Lamar's song, you know, how much does a dollar cost? And really thinking to myself, like, whatever I do have, even the little bit that I do have or whatever it is, at the end of the day, what does it, re- you know, is it really that bad for me to, you know, judge this person, you know, it, well, it's bad for me to judge that person, but it's not that, you know, I can't do it, you know, and thinking about, okay, what if I was in that position? Because talking to our homeless community that's out here or volunteering, and I challenge everyone uh, to at least take a, a couple hours, even if it's just one hour to volunteer at a homeless shelter and talk, you know, to some of the people that everyone has a, a story. And then, you'll realize that people act like, and I know I've been guilty of this in the past, that people act like homelessness was a choice, that these people just decided to, oh, I'm going to be homeless. You know, I'm not going to, you know, people fall upon hard times, or as you said, they come back from the war or serving their country or whatever it is, and it's a whole different world than what you imagined. Um, so getting to know the story and talking uh, having a cup of coffee, you know, having a lunch or a dinner um, or a conversation can let you know or enlighten you to not only the reasons why, but to see yourself in this person. Because once you get past all that and say, look, this could be me, yes. that could hopefully bring it back home to you. Um, f- at least for you now, you're from Tennessee. Correct. Yes, sir. And, um, you know, at least for you, I think for all these different cities from Tennessee to Alabama and some of the other places that you that you've been, um, especially in Huntsville, how does it make you feel seeing some of the progression that's going on, or when you see so many of these buildings going up and so many of these great things going on? But at least it seems like the homelessness, or or at least our veterans, are being left behind. And I get that you know homelessness is a problem everywhere, but it seems to me that. At least our veterans, you know, and people that have served this country would have something to come back to. So for you, how does that make you feel in seeing, okay, these people have served their country. These people have, you know, died for, you know, us to be here and do this. But now we're building up 20 Starbucks and we're building up, you know, all these different hotels and nothing for our veterans. You know, I think that I think that progression is great. I think that whenever you you're in a city and you can you can be live in a city that's progressing and that's 
being able to turn and make a revenue, that's that's great. And the the the, the really good thing about that is, as as more of these buildings, as more of these different type of uh, offices and so forth open up, there's more people that's coming in. And those people that are coming in, that may be someone such as myself that is looking to change something about the community on the inside. I, I, I it, it takes more than just an office building opening up. That's fine. But as long as you can get the people on the inside to work for that community, then that's where it's at. That's what you're supposed to do. I love the re- revenue that's coming in. I, I love it with a passion. But I also love what we as a people can do for each other. And I think I don't think that it has anything to do with uh, buildings and offices or anything opening it up. It has nothing to do with that at all. It has everything about what we can do for each other. So I think that as long as we move and we try to work and get something done for each other, then that then that's where it's at. So I think that uh, moving forward, we shouldn't be concerned about what's opening up, but we should be concerned about what are we, what am I doing for my fellow man. We should be concerned about uh, what is it that what is it that that veteran may need or what is it that that other person may need or that they're going through in their life? Cause we're not here to judge anybody. I'm not here right. to judge what you're going through or why you, why you became homeless or it, that's not my place to judge. Or even if you want to share that with me, that's fine, but it's not my place to judge, judge you for that. But it is my place to help you out in that. Yeah. So if I see that and, and if we can put up more businesses here and we can get some more people here that are saying, Hey, I see the problem. I see the need within the community. Then to me, that's a great, that's a great thing. And if you guys are just joining us, you know, watching on Facebook Live, we're talking to Ronald Miller about unconditional love for veterans, about this event that he has coming up. And one thing that I will say is there's a lot of initiatives and resources that are around here that people may not know about that help veterans or that may uh, be a resource or be of some help. But at the same time, there's a lot of disconnection or there's so many distractions that people don't know how to connect in that community. So for the people that are out here, if you know people that are providing resources or helping veterans or can be of a resource in any shape, form or fashion, I think there should be that network, you know, for you guys to connect and everyone to be able to help each other out um, to to make that stronger for this event. Um, how can people help out or how can people donate or if they just want to volunteer or any shape, form, or fashion, is there room for that? How can they help with that? There's there's definitely more room for volunteers, uh, donations. There's definitely room for donations. And the, the best way to do that is to, to actually email me. Uh, my email is ronald, R-O-N-A-L-D, at vets, V-E-T, the number four, vets v-e-t-s disability.com um, and what i need right now um, is i need more beauticians and more barbers and more cosmetology to actually sign up to help for this event um, okay before you go any further i want y'all to stop where you're going right now stop what you're doing beauticians barbers anyone that can help in that cosmetology realm everyone knows somebody that does hair that cuts hair well I won't say anybody. The people that know how to do it. The people that are professional. You don't have to go to school for it, but if you know who's good and the one that just cut said it, you don't, you're not going to. For If you wouldn't go to them, don't send them to this event. But for the people that, that, that have a love and a passion um, that want to help and their passion, their art is cosmetology, that they know how to do hair, uh, the women, the men, whoever that knows how to do hair or cut hair, or any of that cosmetology um, skill, definitely send him, send them in his direction. You know somebody. I know y'all know somebody. I know a couple people. You know, the person that hooked us up, you know, she's one of the best. You know, she is the best. I ain't saying she the best, but she the best. But also, who else um, that you need to, to help out with this event? And that's uh, everything else I've taken care of. Like the only wow. thing, that, the only thing I need right now is just those people to sign up. Everything that's I'm taking care of. And the great thing about this is, uh, the event is on July seventh. It's going from eight a.m. to one p.m. at Fellowship of Faith Church. Uh, but I actually broken the times down. It's different time slots. It's eight 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 a.m. to ten a.m. It's a ten a.m. to eleven a.m. And then there's a ten thirty a.m. to one p.m. So your whole Saturday is not 
is not taking up. Uh, just coming out for a couple hours. And if you want to stay more and do more, then that's definitely welcome. But your whole Saturday is not taking up at all. So the, the best way to sign up for this, if you want to sign up for this event, is to go to my website and you will see it on there where it says uh, uh, the, the Love for Veterans. And my website is www.vet for vets disability.com and you will see on there where you can just sign up it's a quick easy two minute process if that you can pick the time slot that you want and we'll be good to go again and and the best thing about this i'm feeding all the barbers it every person that comes in and work on feeding them free see that's two hours and i'm feeding you <laughs> so yeah <laughs> so some of y'all work longer than that and you don't get fed so <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. Make sure you guys are sharing when this is going on. And, you know, we have to start thinking like children and stop overcomplicating things, you know, because we think about ways that we can help. Think about how many times you may have passed by someone or you may have seen uh, someone on the street that was, you know, looking to help out, you know, looking to wash your car or uh, someone that you could help. You may know someone or you may see someone and let them know. Say, hey, you know what? Look, I'm going to take you out to this event. You know, let, let me know where I can find you. Let me know on on uh, when is the event happening again? July 7th. July 7th. Hey, man, look, July 7th, I'm pulling up. I'm picking you up. I'm going to take you out. We're going to get your hair cut. We're going to get your hair done. We're going to feed you. We're going to have a good day. I'm going to pick you up, and I'm going to take you down here. Of course, you got to be safe. I'm just saying, because this disclaimers. But think about the ways in which that you can help out. Some of y'all drive church buses. Some of y'all drive church buses every Sunday. Man, load that church bus up and bring some people July 7th to this event to, again, to recognize our veterans, um, to recognize just people. You know, just just people recognize each other because any one of us at any point in time in three seconds, we could all be homeless. It could happen to anyone. And for that small amount of recognition, for that small amount of time that it's going to cost you to make a difference to somebody else's life. Hey, man, it's, it's, it's priceless. You can't put a price on it. And as I'm sure you, you know, for me, how does it make you feel volunteering or how does it make you feel you know, helping someone else out or just being of doing what you do and, and the service that you provide. How does that make you feel? It is what I'm supposed to do is, is what I'm supposed to do. And the, the feeling, the feeling is of, is of gratitude. And the gratitude is that God has placed me in this position to where I can do that. So, man, I'm just thankful to God just for being, for me being able to do it. So it's just gratitude. Like it has nothing to do with, uh, me getting personally recognized has nothing to do with me being in the forefront. It's all about, man, God has put me in a position to do it, so why not? And if God has put anyone else in that position to do it, then why not? Why not step up to the challenge and say, man, I see a need. Let's go get it. That's what I'm talking about, you guys. If you have any questions, if you have you know anything that you want to know, how you can help, or if you want to connect with him for more information, drop your comments or your questions in the chat room. Or how can they contact you directly? Email Ronald at VetForVestDisability.com. You can go straight to my website, uh, www.VetForVestDisability.com. Or you can hit me up. Uh, on, on You can call 256-367-0005. Excellent, man. And for anyone that's out there, if you know someone that is helping veterans and can be of, again, connections uh, to network and connect with each other. Um, again, there's there's enough in here for everybody. We got to stop all this. Well, they got their thing going on. I got my thing going on. Look, we all got to connect. We all trying to get to the same place. And especially people that are doing the same thing, it's more advantageous. I just looked that word up today. <laughs> it's more advantageous to, to connect with everyone and to, instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, just connect with people that are already doing it and make it stronger because we're all trying to do some of the same things. Uh, if you guys have any questions, once again, drop them in the chat room. Please share this with someone and especially the barbers, the cosmetologists, you know what I'm saying? Your your favorite bar. Everyone is going to somebody to get their hair done. I hope. <laughs> so if you're getting your hair done, if you're getting your hair cut, wherever you're doing it, or if you're doing it yourself, if you have it in your heart to want to help someone, to want to 
it make you feel good. This might be therapy for you by helping somebody else out. Nothing was going to make you feel. Nobody's ever helped someone else out or volunteered and felt worse after they did. I don't think that's ever happened in the history of volunteering, in the history of humanity. So if you're having a bad day, if you need some therapy, uh, if you just need a release, help someone else out. I know it sounds weird, but just try it. You know, if you're yeah. going through something, you're having a hard time, honestly, man, helping someone else out does make you feel a little bit better and lift your spirits up, man. So, Ronald, I definitely want to thank you for coming thank you. through. Thank appreciate you, uh, sir. Thank Angie also for hooking us up. And July 7th. Yes, sir. All right? You guys got a long time between July 4th and July 7th. <laughs> all right? It's a long time. So, go ahead and put in your, your time off requests. Go ahead and make up your excuse for why you won't be at work. But, you know, you definitely have enough time to make it to this event and bring someone. All right. So make sure you call, uh, text, email all your barbers, everybody, man. This is about action. We we reshare and we retweet and we share this and share that. Hey, man, share this with someone that needs it. Share it with yourself. All right. Awesome. Anything else that you want to let the people know before we get out of here? Hey, I just look forward to everyone coming out, volunteering. Um, look forward to just us making a change within our community. And most important, I look forward to us just networking and, and building up the the community from the inside out. Absolutely. And again, in tune with T-Mail is all about changing the status quo. And if this is not changing the status quo, I don't know what is, even if I Googled it. So make sure you guys are sharing this. I keep saying this because y'all might've forgot three seconds ago. So again, share this. And I want to thank you for what you're doing and for everyone that is looking out for our veterans and reminding us that we need to look out for our veterans as well. Um, and for everyone, for each other, for one another, because it's not just about this particular class or that class or this group of people. Look out for one another, you know, no matter who that is. And um, yeah, man, spread love, show love. You know what I'm saying? It's the world way, not just the Brooklyn way. It's the world way.